Hello. Hello. Good morning. This is How To Hardcore, episode number 11. I can't even do them all on my fingers now. 11! This happens to be my favorite number. Uh, we do have a little bit of a, a sad scenario, unfortunately. My wrist today... <laughs> no es bueno, no es bueno. Um, it's gonna probably be a short episode. Um, what we have today is we're gonna get a bunch of glowstone. Real easy. You guys won't even watch me do that, most likely. We are going to acquire a... Mm, here's what we'll do. We'll discuss our strategy for the Ocean Monument, okay? But the final thing that we need is to find the Ocean Monument. That's my least favorite part. I love exploration, but I hate looking for something in particular in this game because if you need it, it's not there. That's the rule. So we're going to go ahead and get the world a loading. And we're going to do our shout outs. Let's see here. This today, I was going to say this week, but I, I just did this yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I would like to thank L. Renee H. Uh, Mrs. Renee, I think this is the first female thing that we've had going on. I mean, I know I know that girls like to be pointed out that they're girls, so congratulations. <laughs> Precious Tova as well. She says, congrats on the new series. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need the good luck. I really need it. <laughs> uh, Nam also is a boss. Nami, Nami, Nami. Oh, yes, and I mispronounced Mr. Sweary's last name in the last episode. It's Sweary. Sweary. I cannot pronounce things. I swore before I started doing stuff on the internet that I was able to pronounce things quite well, but my pronunciation since I started doing YouTube has really gone down the shitter. Can you hear that? Hold on. That's my, that's my washer. <laughs> I'll be right back. First world problems. Putting too many clothes in the washer. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks way cooler than last episode when he was wearing gold. You look like a boss! Thank you, thank you for um, acknowledging my statement. More food time, it is more food time, we get more food. We use, we use, we need the food. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I plant seeds on the boughs. Uh-uh, but only in my own files. One more. No, I make a no, I make a. You, I, I bet you guys love making me watch bread. <laughs> Wait. I bet you guys love watching me make bread. <clears throat> so uh, we are, we are going to go to the Nether. Get some gloves down. I'm gonna make you watch me walk to the nether, but I ain't gonna watch it. Me make you watch me get the glow down. There we go. If I could speak this morning, this entertain this this series might be a little bit uh, less entertaining than what it is right now. Because these sentences, ooh, that makes for a good time when you can barely understand what I'm saying, right? At least that's my that's my uh, take on things. So we taking this diamond pickaxe, we going nuts. We're racing to the nether. Ready? Go. I really thought I'd, I'd mind this so that I would not hit my head on every single block, but I did not. I did not do that. I was lazy. You cut corners. When you build your house, then you live in it, you know? You make your bed, then you sleep in it. You dig your grave, and then you sleep in it. Yay, it's nether time. So I'm going to use an uh, efficiency four. See the lip smacky thing? I'm sorry. I try not to do that no more. Um, the looting. No, no, no. It's fortune. Fortune three. Efficiency four. So we're going to be getting glowstone so fast. But I'm going to follow my original way out of here. Because if I don't, I'll get lost. You know the whole story. You know the whole story. We don't need to talk about it. You know I'm a dummy. Alright, I will track down Glowstone. i see you in a minute. Alright, we're still in the nether now. We need to be extremely careful around the lava. This is hardcore. We will die. 
uh, I want a, at least a couple of stacks of glowstone, so we have to be extremely careful. I should have brought way more place markers than I did, but I do have health potions on deck, so that's kind of a good thing, and I can always be looking at my previous path. All right. Mm. That was a lot of words packed into 23 seconds. So I'm going to get that. No. I may not get that. Yeah, I'm going to get that. <laughs> B R to the B. All right, I'm under the lava fall again, and there's a ghast on the other side, so I do run the risk of dying, so I'm going to let this run. If I ever run the risk of dying, I'm going to let it run, because I'd rather you guys see me die than just me cut to being dead. I have to fight another ghast. This is great. Fuck! I should have been way more careful. All right, you know, we're gonna we're gonna retreat for a moment, reconsider our strategy. Maybe there'll be some ghosts down in here. <laughs> wow, I just want glowstone, big boy. That's all I need. Leave me alone. Why you gotta pick on me? see him now. So we're gonna work our way up. Yep, there he is. There he is, you prick. Oh, kids, I swear in this series, please don't swear around your parents. Please don't. I'm 22 years old. I, I live with my parents, but my parents aren't home right now, okay? I still don't cuss around my parents. I think it's extremely disrespectful. Not to say that I'm better than you, but it, it shows a certain degree of class if you can control when or when, when you do and do not cuss. And really, you don't need to be cussing if you're, if you're under 12. Yeah! Return to sender, bitches. So, that, this is just my little PSA, because I, I started thinking about it, and I don't really know how many of you are old enough to, you know, be able to swear and, without creating this uncomfortable feeling, because... My little brother is 17, okay? He's 17. He's old enough. He's kind of mature enough to where he should be allowed to, you know, be free on his own sometimes. But when he says the F word around my parents, I get so uncomfortable. It's just not, it's not the right place for that kind of word, okay? And neither is school. Neither is in front of your friend's parents. And you need to also be conscious of the fact that the walls in your room... They're not soundproofed, okay? You can't be yelling fuck all the time, okay? Oh, my, oh, I'm sorry. I hate to go off on little rants like that, but just control your mouth. All right, I get more glow stone. I, I shut up now. Okay, bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, don't freak out. We're kind of lost in the nether. I, I went away from my path. Okay, thank God. No, we're not. We're not lost. All right, never mind. All right, and we had a semi-decent amount at my house, so we will start heading back now. <laughs> That's the glowstone taken care of. Um, so the, the reason that I want to bring a cow to the ocean monument is so that I can negate the effects of the, um, the miner's fatigue that the, the Elder Guardian gives you whenever you get in, uh, within a certain radius of the ocean monument. So say you're working your way, you're bridging your way over the water to the ocean monument, yes? Um, uh, at some point, a scary image will fly across your screen and it'll be a picture of this elder guardian and he's gonna be giving you miners fatigue which slows how much you mine by I believe half and if you're familiar with uh, water you know that water also slows your mining speed being in water being jumping on top of water just being around water in general is a pain in the ass so let's see we need to have a cow there because cows provide infinite source of milk, I do believe. And milk 
negates the uh, any any effects. So while it will negate my in invisibility potions and it will negate my night vision potions, it's more than worth it to be able to break into the ocean monument because uh, it's incredibly difficult to do so. All right, I am going to have to break some of these melons up. And then we're going to start on our, our little adventure finding the ocean monument. This ought to take a long time. Yeah, I'm going to make some boats as well. Boat time. Excellent. I wish, wow, boats no longer stack. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to need this many. All right. Um, do I take my horse? No. Horsey, I love you. I do, but I, and that's why I want you to stay here so that you'll be here when I do return, okay? We are going to take boats all the way. So we're going to go down here, we're going to get on the river, and we're going to make a right. And we're going to follow this until it hopefully leads to an ocean. Um, I will see you in... I just gave myself a little smack for the lip smack. I'm sorry, that annoys me. It's got to annoy you. Anywho, we are moving along. I see you in a bit. Right did not lead to an ocean. In case you were wondering. Whoa. That's crazy looking. Hold on. Ooh, we broke the boat. <laughs> Okay, so neither of our home river routes are going to lead us to an ocean. It was worth a try though, was it not? We are going to park this uh, on a little dock and we're going to hop on the horse. Alrighty, let's um... I haven't seen any vast oceans this way actually, so we're going to head right. And once again, I'm cutting now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just walked into a ravine with my horse. And, be and furthermore, I have not seen an ocean yet. It's been 15, 20 minutes of looking for an ocean. I'm not looking for the temple yet. I'm looking for... Dude, we got to fix these horses. We got to fix horses and boats. Okay? Please, Mojang, please. We got to fix horses and boats. Okay, so I... I'm sorry, I just thought I'd give you a little update. 15 minutes looking, nothing. Not even an ocean. Not nothing. It's just a bunch of fields unicorns, butterflies, and zebras. Anyhow, I'll see you soon. Huh. I wonder if this, we just happened upon this. No, this is not the desert, or desert town with which we are familiar. So, um, doesn't look like there's too much interesting in the town. But, if you, if you were paying attention just a minute ago, first of all, we have found an ocean, I believe. Second, we have happened upon... A mob spawner, and I like when this happens. All right, we're gonna uh, post up our animal here. I'm actually glad we found a sort of base of operations for this deal. There you go. Now you stay there, please. Don't leave me. I'm gonna need you badly to get back. All right, and then we're gonna work our way into this joint. It doesn't seem like any mobs are spawning, but it is daytime. What do we got here? Skelly. I don't see any chests. Oh, here. The torch trick also works on sand. But if you suck at it, it doesn't work on anything. Alright, you know, I'm going to do the sand thing and hopefully there will be a chest. Be a, one sec. Okay, ladies and gents, we must be doing something wrong with our lives. Um, there's no chest in here. Sucks. Sucks big time. But it's okay. So that's our horse up there. We're going to get one of these boats out. Actually, we're going to throw some things away first. You don't... No. No, no. Get out of here. 
I'm a little more comfortable with that. So then we're gonna go and we're gonna start flying and driving and working our way around this here ocean. Uh, also, I'm going to mark the coordinates uh, where this is so that I don't lose my horse because I love my horse. So we're talking one negative one seven two eighty two. Negative one eight seven one. Cool. All right, I'm gonna build this tower, mark it up, mark it up, mark it up, and then we'll be on our way to the ocean monument, or at least on our way to discovering the ocean monument. Okay, bye bye now. All right, boys and girls, the same thing happened to me as when I was looking for the jungle. I've had to take on a different strategy. And guess what my strategy is? Walk against the red line. I don't know why this works. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it will. Cause this cow's dependent on us. <laughs> you know, if there's one thing that Minecraft has taught me, it's that in order to be successful, you have to be patient. I have been looking for this ocean monument for well over an hour and a half now. But we stay having fun with the exploration aspect of it. We stay moving along the, the, the red axis and we just pray. We say, do you know what we say? We say, Awe 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 In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Ladies and gentlemen, never give up. I don't know if you can see the, the faintly glowing light, but I can, it's there. Okay, so we have an ocean monument now. Uh, I really don't have an approach strategy. I need to have that. Uh, hmm. Because there are guardians all over this thing. So how do I want to do this? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to actually think of some kind of an approach strategy because this is way more dangerous than it looks but at least I have some land adjacent so I might what I might end up doing is digging just down and, and working my way over to that ocean monument because there's no really good way to approach it while being safe okay all right as usual I'd like to thank everyone for watching my name is D money stacks Hulk Hogan, uh, just stacks, Seacrest. Anyways, we're all out of this bitch, all right? Have a good day. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time when we defeat the Ocean Monument. Wookity, wookity, wookity.